welcome back my lovelies i'm so glad you could join me for another short hair tutorial again obviously there's something going on with my hair this is what i'm doing today so this is probably one of my favorite hairstyles i have a top messy bun and i have a braid and it's mixed together and just makes the perfect combination and i have towards the end i have a few other options of how to accessorize your top knot so keep on watching so for this hairstyle, like a messy bun or a braid, I like to have my hair texturized. So this is where I actually like to apply a lot of dry shampoo or a dry texturizing spray. At the moment, I am obsessed with this dry shampoo by Elizabeth and James in the scent white. Have you guys tried this yet? Or have you tried the black scent? Let me know if you have in the comments down below because I am honestly obsessed with this stuff. So now that I have some texture in my hair, I'm just gonna bring my hair back and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna divide it into two halves. So I'm gonna start from my temples and just bring my two fingers and meet them in the middle on the back of my head. And the great part about this hairstyle is if the line is not straight in the back, it's okay because this is a messy bun hairstyle. So just take this section. Let me just show you how much I grab from the back. Take this section and we're just gonna section it off and pin it away for now. So this is the cool part, as Andre said. Instead of braiding my hair down, I'm gonna braid my hair up from the back of my neck all the way up to where I section the hair off. So these hairs right here all the way down, I'm gonna flip my head over and I'm just gonna bring my hair forward. So once again, to this really awkward position when your hair is flipped over. <laughs> the braid of my choice is a French braid because I think it looks the prettiest with this hairstyle. It has a lot of different textures. Whatever you want, do whatever braid you feel comfortable. So a French braid is the easiest, probably in my opinion. It's where you take the outer sections, you can cross it over the middle. You go on top instead of the bottom. So basically what I do is I grab a section on the very back of my neck, divide into three like a regular braid, and then I start braiding without adding hair for the first section. Once I get the first section done, this is where I start adding hair to the outer sections. And make sure for the French braid, you take the outer sections and you place it over the middle instead of under the middle. And just a quick tip to make it easier on your head and your brain and your breathing, sit on the edge of the couch and just kind of place your head on your knees and just rest it there and it really helps. If you feel like uncomfortable and you feel like your blood is rushing, just come up for a breather, <laughs> get a couple of seconds and go back down. It takes, it's really easy once you get the hang of braiding, so. That's kind of what helps me. Once you finish adding hair to the braid, you're gonna finish braiding it to the very top and leave it like an inch or two, and then just tie off the braid with a clear elastic. And your hair should look something like this. I got lipstick stains on my shirt right here from bending over. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna keep rolling. All right, so moving on to the actual top knot or the messy bun. Mm, that's hot. So I'm grabbing that hair, the top section that I didn't touch, and I'm just gonna comb it back. I'm gonna place it where I want the messy bun to be. Just kind of play around and see where you want it to be. I think I'm happy right here. I'm gonna twist it with the little braid. Just gonna do it pretty tight, because I kind of want like a ballerina bun. I'm gonna twist it all the way around. Once it's twisted, grab a hair tie and secure it. Grab your bobby pins and just secure the top knot. Once I have the braid and the bun completely done and secure and just the way I want it laying on my head, I'm gonna go back in and just pull out some of these front pieces just to frame my face a little bit. This one already came out because it's short, but I'm gonna pull a little bit more on this side just to frame my face a little bit more. You don't have to do this. I know some people don't like it, but I like doing this part. Maybe pull some hairs up right here to give it a little bit more volume. You know how like every store you get like BOGOs, buy one, get one, either half off or get the other one free? That's what I did. <laughs> I got two accessories for buy one, get one, get the other half off. So this was a really great deal and I just had to get both of them because they're super cute. And I figured I would show you how I style both of them in my little top knot. So I'll show you the first one, which is my gold shield. And I'm gonna shield my top knot. <laughs> so it's super easy. It has a nice little hair tie. So you literally just place it around your bun. Around. That's okay, we'll fix it. And then you kind of place your bun around it. 
I think that's super cool. You know what you'll use? Straight up Roman. I know, like I'm going to war. I got my shield ready to go. <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah. What is that? A war I know, a, it's a my war, war cry. War cry. <laughs> me, 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 me. All right, moving on. <laughs> what do you guys think of that gold cuff? Is it a little too much or is it just that perfect amount of too much? <laughs> I actually really like it. It looks really cool and something different. And plus the whole bun cuff craze is going all over the place right now. So I think it looks cool. Let's move on to the next one. Two ways I like to wear this little piece right here. And the first way is in the front, obviously. And it looks like a little crown. Like how cute is this? So I like to grab a little piece of hair from the bun, clip it to that. Like, how cute is that? It looks like a cute little crown. So what do you guys think? This is the one way I like to wear it. It's just super cute and it adds a little pizzazz and sparkle. It just makes you feel very pretty and princessy. At least it does for me, I don't know. Maybe I'm just the weirdo. All right, I'm gonna unclip it and show you how I like to wear it in the back. So this one, I like to call it the rebel princess. Instead of wearing her crown in the front, she likes to wear it in the back. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest? I mean, I mean, baddest of them all. Milana. That's creepy, but I'll take it. And they lived happily ever after. My hairstyle and I did. We, we really did. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Comment down below with future suggestions opinions, comments, whatever you want to write there. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.